So dear students, welcome to the online classes of Gamma School School. So dear students, in this video, we will discuss exercise 4A of your math book, that is Junior Maths. Okay. So the topic of this video is operations with large numbers. Let us uh, solve the first question of exercise 4A. This is add. Here we are having a large number and we have to add. Let us calculate it. 5, 3 and 0. 5 and 3, the sum of 5 and 3 is 8, 8 and 0, that's same number, that is 8. Next, 4 and 5, add 4 and 5, that will give 9, and 9 and 5, that will give 14. So, write 4 here, and we will carry 1 over here, okay? 1 and 7, when added, 1 added to 7, it will give 8. And 8 plus 2, that gives 12. 12 and 3, it gives 15. Write 5 here and we will carry 1 over here. 0 and 1, that gives 1. 1 and 6, yes, 7. 7 and 7, 14. Write 14 here and carry 1 over here. 1 and 8, that gives 9. 9 and 0. Again 9 because when we add 0 to any number, the sum is the same number. So 9 and 0, that's 9 and 1, 10. Let us write 0 here and carry 1 over here. Now 1 and 3 is what? 4. 4 and 7, that's 11. What? 4 and 7, that is 11. The sum of 4 and 7 is 11 and when 2 is added to 11, it gives 13. So write 3 over here and carry 1. Okay, 1 and 6. 6 and 1 is? Yes, 7. 7 and 5. That gives 12. Am I right? Am I right? 7 and 5, 12. 12 and 9. Add 12 and 9. This will give 21. Write 1 here and carry 2 over here. Okay? Now add these 3 numbers. 2 and 4, that gives, yes, 6. 6 and 2, that gives 8. So, this is the solution of the first question. And we have solved one question. Very good. Let us move to the next question. This is arrange in columns and add. What? Arrange in columns and add. Let us find the solution of this question. So, let us arrange it in column method. What is column method? Let me tell you. We will write this number like this. 5, 6, 0, 8, 1, 4. Okay. Now write this number. Nine, four, eight, three, five, two, six. Okay. Write like this because we will write one digit together. This the one digit digit of the second number below the one digit of the first number. By this method we can write it. So this is the following method for this question and we have to add these both numbers. Let us add them. 6 and 4. The sum of 6 and 4 gives 10. And we will write 0 here and carry 1 over here. Now 1 and 1. When 1 is added to 1 it gives 2. 2 and 2 that gives 4. What? Yes 4. 8 and 5, 8 and 5, the sum of 8 and 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it gives 13, so we will write 3 here and we will carry 1 over here, when 1 is added to 3, it gives, yes, 4, now there is no carry, so we will add the next numbers, that those numbers are 6 and 8 and the sum of 6 and 8, tell me the answer, Yes, that's 14. We will write 4 here and carry 1 over here. Now add 5 and 1. 5 and 1 is what? The sum of 5 and 1 is 6. And when 4 is added to 6, it gives 10. So write 0 and carry 1. Because 10, in the 10, the 1 digit is 0 and uh, the 10th digit is 1. Now add 1, 2 and 9. 1 and 2, that gives 3. And when 3 is added to 9, it gives 
what? 11? No. 12? Yes. 12. Right? 2 here and carry 1 here. Okay? Now we are having 7 and 1. And here we are having no number that is 0. We are, we are having 0 here. So 7 and 1, that's 8. And this is the sum. This is the sum of question number 2a. So by this method you can do question number 2. Okay, how to arrange the forms? Now I uh, I think you, you are familiar with this question and you, you can do it. The question number 3 is subtract and check the answer. Okay, so let us subtract the question then we will check the answer of this question. So first of all what we will do? We will start from the right side and we will go through left side. Okay, go towards left side. So 7 minus 8, you can't subtract 8 from 7. We will take carrying 1 from here and it will become 17. Okay, what? 17. And 17 minus 8, that gives, yes, yes, calculate and tell me, 17 minus 8 is what? That's, yes, 9. What? 9. Okay, so here we are having 0. We are having 0 here. Take 1 from here because we can't subtract 9 from 0. Take 1 from here, it will become 10. So what will become? It will become 10. And 10 minus 9 is what? It becomes 10 minus 9. That's the difference of 10 and 9 is 1. What? Yes, 1. Now here we are having 7. What? 7. And 7 minus 4. That gives 7 minus 4. Yes, 3. Now here we are having 4. 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2. What we are having here? 2. So write 2 here. Okay. Now 5 minus 7. We can't subtract a smaller number, a larger number from a smaller number. So we will take 1 from here, we will take 1 from here, it will become 15. 15. And now 15 minus 7, that is, yes, yes, calculate, tell me, calculate it and tell me, 15 minus 7. Yes, that's right, it is, 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay, let, let us move further and here we are having 2 because we have taken 1 from here and we, it has become 2. And we can't subtract 5 from 2. So we'll take 1 from here and it will become 12. And now subtract 5 from 12. Yes, if you are having 5 rupees, 12 rupees, and you have to give 5 rupees to me, how much money will how many how much money will be left with you? That yes, same way. Right answer. And here we are having 5. Just like 5 over here. And this is the solution of this question, but this question has not been completed till now. We have to check the answer. So, check. Check answer. Okay, let us check. So, uh, dear students, uh, let me tell you something about this. What are they called? So, the larger number that is upside, it is known as Minuend, okay, and this is known as supplement, okay. If this is not visible clearly, you can look, you can you can find it out in your books also. And this is M I N U E N D minuend. This is S U B P R E H E N D supplement, and this is difference. What difference? Difference, okay. So to check, we need to what we need to do. We will add the subtrahend. Okay, subtrahend and difference, and the sum of difference and subtrahend. It is. It should be equal to minus. Okay. So let us calculate it. First write the subtrahend. The subtrahend is 5, 7, 2, 4, 9, 8. And now we write difference. Difference is 5, 7, 8, 2, 3, 1, 9. And let us find the sum because we are having plus sign here. Let us find the sum of these both numbers. 9 and 8, that gives 17. So I will calculate a little bit faster in this 
uh, this question, okay? Because I have told the two addition questions to you, and now I think you have understood it clearly. So 9 and 8, here 17, right? 7 here, and we will carry 1 over here. Now, 1 and 9 is the sum of 1 and 9 is 10, 10 and 1, that gives yes, 11. Okay? Again, 1 carry, carry 1 here. 4 and 1, that gives 5. 5 and 3, that gives 8. Okay? Now 2 and 2 is what? That gives 4. 7 and 8. The sum of 7 and 8 is that's 15. Write 5 here and carry 1. Now 5 and 1, 6. 6 and 7. The sum of 6 and 7, that gives yes, 13. Why? 13 and carry is 1. 5 and 1 is what? The sum of 5 and 1 is 6. Let us find. Let us check our answer. 6, 3, 5, 4, 8, 1, 7. And this is my friend. So our subtraction, we have done the subtraction here yeah, and that is correct because we have checked the answer of the that same subtraction. So dear student, this much in this video. In next video, I will come with the next questions of this same exercise. For that time, bye everyone. Have a nice time. Goodbye.